Welcome back to Ridiculous Fishing. We'll do one more episode in this session. For me, it, it, for you, it won't be any different, but for me, it will be the last game of the night for me. We just uh, technically beat the game and got to see Billy get his dad's hat. And look, he's got it on. And now the water's pink instead of blue, which I love. Love that color pink. Let's fish in home waters for... Whoa, what was that? I know what it was, but you don't. <laughs> it may happen to be a video game reference, though. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, and another boy. So many new boys. Gosh, we do descend pretty fast already. I need those new lures. Anyway, welcome back to Ridiculous Fishing and to Jest Game. We're uh, having a good time. And, uh, boy, what an emotional... A uh, little scene that was that we saw in the last episode. Craziness. I love it. Love this game. You think, oh, this is just a fun little romp, arcade game. You know, I'm just gonna do the catch the fish, get the rewards, be like some kind of fruit ninja kind of deal. But no. Oh, it's got story. It's got end credits. Man. And not many. Notice, there were not many people on that list of people that worked on the game. There were a few people, and then a list of special thanks, which included Mom. Can't stress enough that they included Mom in the special thanks. We got Frogo Boy. Oh, we can't slow down our rod, our lure, so this is going to be tough. Ah! Oh, we missed him. We doggone missed him. Oh, we need to check our Fishopedia, too. I didn't do that. Oh, shame on me. Shame on me. Bum, bum, bum. Man, I wish we could record. Oh, sorry, gender. I wish we could record our full length, like 45 minute episodes with this, but my phone just can't handle it. Sometimes it decides, you know what, I don't want to capture that screen recording. Sorry. Also, the music is different. This is ominous, like. Let's check our number. Mm. Excuse me, number one, number two, Fishopedia. Home Waters prefers the day. Oh, uh, we've only been fishing at night, so we didn't get that. Very rare. Tastes good with some garlic. Frogo. Mm. Please don't cook me. What else we got? Ooh. I'm getting quite sweaty. I'm an emotional sweater. And so, I sweat. I think you can probably put that together. I don't have, I don't own an emotional sweater though. So, food for thought. Cuttlefish. These don't actually have mustaches, but strange little space fingers. <laughs> Makes me think of uh, Space Quest. <laughs> space Quest Five, with the little guy. Buttons, buttons. Sea urchin. Ooh, don't like that word. It's just talking about the beaver dam. Gosh. How dare you go there? Beaver dam, son. Where'd you find this? <laughs> I stepped on it, Dad. Oh, well. Goodbye, son. What? What do you mean, Dad? Uh, I'll see you on the other side. Dad? Dad? Other side of what? The river? Huff putt. A happy girl. She puffs up near enough not to pull the trigger. Interesting. Huff puck. Oh, huff puck. That's a great curse word. I'll have to save that in my list. Frozen Billy. Oh, they've encased him in carbonite. He should be quite well protected. If he survived the freezing process, that is. That's a direct quote! Oh, I never realized that. I just recently rewatched the Star Wars movies. If he survived the freezing process, that is. Isn't that a direct quote? Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Also, Mandalorian. Great show. Oh, Frozen Billy. I guess Billy was also his dad's name? Or is it another version of himself? I don't know. Because our fisherman is named Billy. <laughs> Hot! Hashtag yellow! Oh, so funny. So, so funny. Alright, we've got tons of moolah now because we shot up Frozen Billy. No, we didn't shoot him up. We we dethawed him and got our hat back. Here, 
I love that run. Like running your hand down a piano. Oh, we're so close to the Emperor's suit. Oh, so many good items, though. Oh! Right now, I'm ranking 20% off of this wizard skin. But we could be making 30. I think that'll be worth it. So we'll save up for that. I think I think it'll make things go faster. So we're gonna go to the maelstrom. We'll go back and get that get that other character back there at home waters later. Right now we're gonna test our luck. Turn it down a little bit. Here in the maelstrom. See this the first time we went to the maelstrom, it was not this difficult of a screen. It just kinda depends on your luck and what you get. Also depends on your luck whether or not you run into the fish you're looking for. Because a lot of the fish don't show up whenever. Like the pyrite fish. But apparently he does show up whenever. Ugh, I'm telling you, it's because of you all. You have blessed this playthrough. Boom. Um, we're making pretty decent progress. You know, I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm doing okay. Like the average Joe speed here. So, that's good. My name's not Joe, but... Just to make the point, for the sake of the conversation. Joe was an ice cream cone. Didn't know where to go. So, he went to the freezer to find some friends, but no. All he found was ice. Hard to sing along to a backwards song. Sorry. Oops. Sorry. Chongchongyi! <laughs> that is from Korean drama Crash Landing on You. Oh what's the what's the native title? Kute? Kute is in it? Oh, Crash Landing on You. Darn it, it's got the actress on it from My Sassy Girl, the movie. Oh, Crash Landing on, no, it's not Crash Landing on You. Gosh, forget everything I just said. It's, oh, it's the star one. So, where he's an alien. Oh, star, crash, crash, star, star. He's an alien and he's like, he lasts hundreds of years and he's, he's been on Earth for hundreds of years and the actress is an actress in the, the drama. So what, star? So, oh. Uh, I'm gonna have to look it up. Remind me. I'm sure you will. I might have to look it up at the end of the episode. Emperor suit made of billy skin. Excuse me? Why is yourself for fifty percent more? Why? Why is my skin not good enough? Em uh, and am I an emperor? So many questions. What's with that? Let's. Uh, do we need this? <sighs> not really. Not right now. Wish love upon a star, upon a... Ugh, so frustrating. The character's called Chun Song Yi. Pretty sure. Uh, maybe I'm wrong about that too, gosh. Well, Crash Landing on You is on my mind because that's a much better drama in my opinion. I didn't love whatever the star one was, which doesn't really matter, my opinion, since I can't name the show that I'm giving an opinion on. We got a new fish. At least that's good. Got a new fish amongst my ranting. Crash Landing on You, one of my favorites ever. Love, 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 love that one. You know what? I'm just going to talk about it. The couple in that one is like the most respectful, sweetest, 
uh, couple in all of the dramas that I've watched. All of the Korean dramas. And honestly, I don't, I can't really think of an American drama that is, has a couple that I like more than that, too. The guy is so sweet. Mr. Uh, Lee Jong-hyuk. Lee Jong-hyuk. I think I'm saying it right. Oh, so, so good. And it's also very interesting to see how South Korea portrays North Korea. Because uh, uh, Lee Jong-hyuk is from North Korea. And Crash Lands. Uh, the native title for that is Sarange Bulsita. Sarange Bulsita. Yep. It's not Sarange, it's Sarange. Like loves, crash landing, love, apostrophe S, crash landing. So good. Such a good drama. Loved every minute of it. Even the characters that you're supposed to hate you love. It's awesome. Like, usually there's at least one, you know, a, a cast member that I just can't stand, but not Crash Landing on you. It was so solid. And always interesting, and never, like, too melodramatic, and I have a piano song that I'm gonna learn now after watching it. It's so, so, so good. Love it a lot. That's the end of my Korean rant. Thank you for joining. Uh, let's get some of these worm boys. Worm girls. Feels weird to call things a girl as a boy. So maybe I should just learn to stop saying boy. So I'm not, you know, paternalizing anything. I think too much about these things. Uh-oh, 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 no! Aw, so much moolah we lost. Maybe, do we... Yeah, I think there's something else we can buy that makes the fish fall slower. But, just assume I'm too pro-gamer for it, but I'm obviously not! Oh, we lost our credit card fish. Sad. Very sad. Very quite sad. I lost my credit card. Even though I've got 17 others, I lost it, and it was my favorite one. I can't order it again because the bank thinks I'm irresponsible. I don't know why, it's not like I've purchased 17 Ferraris, I only purchased 12. I'm kind of imbecile. I think that I am irresponsible. My neighbor brought 17 Bugattis. Come on. I only bought 12 Ferraris. That's very, very different. What a, what a bumping farkle that one is. Goodness gracious me. Oh, goodness gracious you. Goodness gracious to us all. I can't believe it. What was my credit card? Anyway. We're almost done. We're almost done. No, we got these worm boys. Oh, there we go again with the boyage. Again, I'm overthinking everything. Overthinking it all. Whoa, 10,000 though. That's pretty good. Got 8,000 out of that. Not bad money in the bank. Oh, we only need one more species to get the Siegelman rank? Ooh. Ooh. Let's check our number one, number two, Fishopedia. Just gonna scroll all the way down. Face bug, poop solid gold. Boy, that would be nice. Oh. Puff gill, modern life. Also be nice if you're a mermaid, then you could just cry pearls. That's another K drama reference. Puff gill, modern life. Interesting. Isn't there another Huff Puff? Huff Puck? One? Interesting. Modern life. Interesting. How many times am I going to say interesting? Interesting. Slipper. Friendly and smart. Aww. I like the flippers then. I think that's all of them. Well, I think we're going to call it. It's almost midnight. Time for beddy bed for me. Thank you all for joining. Is it a jest or not? Billy. Billy. <laughs>